all right guys welcome back uh we got something a little different today what we're gonna make i'm gonna show you what i'm doing is i got some long pillowcases some real long ones and i'm going to fold the ends over yeah, i need to get me a pair of shoes out here and uh i'm gonna sew these suckers up at the ends like this I'm gonna fold them over and sew them that way I can put a curtain rod or a piece of string or something like that in it and this will give me curtains for the hearse the horse drawn hearse that we're doing so it's been a while since I did any sewing so I'll probably screw some of that up but I'm gonna sit here and let you watch me do some sewing so I've got two I've got two long ones and the rest of them I'll have to make. So I need four total of the, the short windows and I'll need two long ones. The two long ones are gonna be a little different so it shouldn't be too bad. And the curtains, the windows are 14 and a half inches. And I'm making these right at, That way I can put a, just a little bit of a crinkle in them. These are about 19 and a half inches. <coughs> They're about 19 and a half inches wide. So they don't have to be perfect. You're not gonna see where I sewed it up at the top anyway, hopefully. So I'm gonna let you all watch me do a little bit of sewing. Hopefully I can get you set up there where you can see. And uh, we'll go from there. This is what we got guys. We got a long, long pillowcase. I'm gonna measure that before we get started so I can get my other ones measured out. So these are 40 inches long. So what I'm gonna do is I like this end already where it's cut or it's already um, sewn on. So what I'm doing is I'm just sewing on a couple inches at the top and uh, that way I still have the length I need. I got plenty of length. So let's get started. So these don't have to be perfect because we want them kind of rough, rough looking anyway. In my case, I'm putting a string, piece of burlap string in there and holding it tight. Um, I think it'll be fine. But you can see where I sewed it. It's not the best. It's been a while since I did any sewing. Anyway, there's two of them. So, two more. And I need them 40 by, what did I say it was? 40 by, 40 by 20 would be good. And what we'll do, 
once we get these sewed and everything ready to rock and roll, we will put these in like a tea bath or a coffee bath to get them uh, toned down. So they're really white cotton, so I don't want solid white. I want them a little crappy looking. So I got some more sheets here. I can use sheets. Uh, I don't think I have any more pillowcases. So what I'll do is I'll cut a piece of this sheet down and we'll make our own pillowcase per se. Let's see what we got here on this. Like I said, guys, it's been a while since I did any sewing, so it might take me a minute to get kind of hang of it again a little bit. So we're at 36 inches. I don't need it 36. Let's go ahead and I'm going to say this was 1919. Is that 19 or 20? Let's see what I have here. So I can just fold it in half. So I got 19 inches. So 19, 19, it's 18. Yeah, my scrap pile. There we go, guys. And that left me a hole. Leaves me a hole to put my string or curtain rod or whatever I'm gonna put through there. So there's my curtain. If you can see it. Like I said, w once we get these all done, we we're going to be putting them in uh, tea or coffee stain or something like that. So, don't have to be the exact. So, I'm going to cut another piece and get it ready to rock and roll. Then we'll sew it up and I'll show you how to sew it. And then we'll work on the big ones. i got to figure out how I'm going to do that one. So, I'm just marking up the next one, guys. Okay, there it is. Now we'll go ahead and cut this excess off. 
We don't need it. So if I was going to uh, get really, really fancy in my horse-drawn hearse, I would do it a whole lot different. Uh, I would take my time with it and everything like that. I would, I would sew it a little different. I would do it a little bit different ways. I mean, there's a hundred ways you can sew stuff. So uh, like I said, I'm not that great at it. I'm not good at it. I, I can do it, uh, barely. But uh, don't get discouraged, guys. If if I can do if I can do this kind of stuff, I know you can. Uh, you guys can probably do it better than I can. But the, anyway, there's our curtain. So now all four of these curtains are done. So now these will be ready for these will be ready for the tea stain or coffee stain, however I'm going to do it. And now I got to make uh, 54 inch ones. Uh, with the 54 inch ones, I'll probably make them. I'm probably going to make a different design. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. Um, I kind of want to. I kind of don't want the curtains to go all the way down, split in the middle and down, which it might not look bad that way, but I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do that. The ones I saw is kind of rounded in the middle and it goes up like that to the edge. It wasn't even a full curtain, it was just a piece of a curtain. So, um, I've got to figure out how I'm going to do those curtains and we'll sew them suckers up and I'll show you how I do that. So let me try to get some kind of little design on my head and uh, I'll be right back and we'll sew, do some more sewing. So here's what I got guys. I've got a hundred and approximately 102 inch sheet. So I'm probably going to just make two out of this. That way I can scrunch it up at the top so i'll make it uh, 51 inches that should give me a rate at 102 and this don't have to be perfect now this will just both of these will be uh one curtain on one side so i'll do another one then we'll just fold it over so it will make it simple and uh we'll go that way all right so i got to cut in half and what we're going to do we're just gonna fold this part up here in half. Okay, wait a minute, that's already good. That's already <gasps> look guys. I don't even have to do nothing with it. Look, that's awesome. Alright. Well, I don't have to sew no more. See, let's double check this one to make sure we didn't just screw up. I don't think we did, but double check it. No, it's still, still in good shape. Okay. So now, so. These two are for the big windows I got in the in the hearse and it's 54 inches so these are cut at 51 inches each one okay how I'm going to do that is because I wanted them scrunched up because I want to make sure I had an extra uh, extra material to scrunch up so once we it'll be two curtains per side and that and it'll go down like that if you understand but uh i will i will do a little video of that whenever i go to install it and everything to show you how i'm going to do that 
but I wanted to show you how I'm gonna simple, simple sewing job, because uh, that's the only thing I can do is sew crooked lines. And uh, so we got two of these. We have, okay, this right here is one side. Now oh, this is one side. So now I got these two. These are the, for the small windows. And now we need to make, uh, hey kitty, we need to make two more big curtains. So hopefully I got enough material to do that. So let's get started on that. What you got to say for yourself? Huh? What you doing? Do you want a mouse? No, probably not. All right, guys. These are the same way. I don't have to do no sewing to them. So these are already pretty much. Oh, I cut that out there. So there you go guys, we got for each side now. So we're ready to put those in, but I'll show you that on the next video. We'll put those in, we'll get them cut down to size, get them put up and then we'll go over all cause the hearse is almost ready. I, I only got a few things to do to it and it's, it's this is kind of one of the, the end things, all the glasses in it and everything. So. This is it, and uh, this is what I used. Used my little Singer Fashion Mate. Nothing spectacular, but it works. So there you go, guys. That's how I doing my curtains. Now, if you're more advanced sewer than I am, uh, you can go crazy on making these curtains. I'm just gonna make some old crappy looking ones. I'm gonna put an early, uh, probably about a 1920s coffin in the back. So these, these here, they're pretty much just 100% cotton. So these will, over a period of time, will rot real good to start shattering and stuff. So they'll look pretty good once they're they're shattered and ripped and torn and all that stuff. It'll 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 look real good in there. You know, I know it's a little bit different than building props with you know wood and hammers and screws and drills and uh, saws and stuff like that. So it's probably gonna be a little weird seeing a man using a sewing machine. But there you go. I'm surprised I remember how to use it. Uh, hope you guys enjoy and we'll see you on the next video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you like this kind of content. And uh, we'll see you on the next video, guys. Thanks for watching.